Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the Sewing Specialist at Fonz & Porter. In this Quilt & Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the blocks for the quilt called Which Way Now? Okay. For the pattern for this quilt, you can visit our website and get the specifics how, of how to purchase that pattern. What we're going to be doing is working with these wonderful 10 inch squares. We're going to have 42, and you can see in the quilt behind me, wonderful collection of um, 1892, I believe, reproduction fabrics and then one um, consistent background fabric. So I have a piece of it here. You're gonna be cutting that background fabric into 10 inch squares so that you have one for each of the prints in your collection. Now, if you were to work with the um, pre-cuts that have kind of that pinked edge, um, one little tip is to use a lint brush because as you open these, you're gonna create a lot of lint, and the nice part is it, the lint roller will pick it up and not damage those 10 inch squares. So you can go around the edges and pick up all the little extra pieces there before you start to work with them, and it'll make your sewing space a little tidier. Now, we're gonna be working, um, creating these triangle squares that go into this quilt. Uh, some people will look at it and say, well, they look like flying geese. Well, they are flying geese, but they are made up of triangle squares, and I'll show you how to work with the 10 inch pre-cuts then to create these really efficiently. So we are I talked about pairing up each of the prints in your pack of 10 inch squares with a background fabric, and so what we're gonna do is we're going to be marking the light fabric so it's easy to see. We are going to be marking it with diagonal lines from corner to corner using your favorite marking tool. We're gonna to mark diagonally across the block like this, and then the other direction, corner to corner also. And if you're a beginner at um, piecing, you may want to go in and mark a quarter inch line on each side of that center because that center is actually where we're going to be cutting this apart. We're going to be stitching a quarter inch to each side of both of those diagonals. So you can either mark those with a ruler and a pen or you can just go in and stitch those. And I have one that's already stitched and bright red thread so that you can see where the stitchings are. And you can see parallel lines going each direction diagonally across the block like that. And it seems that we've now closed everything up. How do we get blocks out of this? So this is the fun part. You could sit down and mark all 42 of the lights and then pair them up with each of the prints in your pack and sew them all at once, have them all done, and then um, sit down and do all the cutting. So this is the fun part. We're going to come in, and I've now layered this on a, a rotating mat so that I don't have to disturb the block much as I cut, because I'm not going to just cut the diagonals, but I'm also going to cut um, quadrants through this block. So I'm going to lay my ruler along the five inch line, which then will basically dissect this block in this direction. And I can rotate my mat and cut safely the five inch line again here. It should go right through the center and hopefully nothing's been too disturbed here. Five inches down through this direction. And then I can come in and rotate to get those diagonals. Down through the center, I slide my ruler along. And it seems like I'm just dicing this into many, many pieces. But the fun part is I will have all of the triangle squares needed to create the block you see here beside me when I join with just one more block in the very center. So my cutting now is done. For this, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces, eight at a time triangle squares. I'm gonna take them to the iron. You're gonna heat set, we always do. and set that seam, get it warm, and then you're gonna open out and make sure that you are opening all the way open, all the way to the seam, and you will do that then down through all of the pieces that you have just cut into triangle squares. So you'll have eight like this. 
Then I also, you also need, follow your instructions for the cutting of the center block. There's one piece that goes in the very center, like this. And then it's basically laying out your triangle squares, orienting them, follow the diagram um, in your pattern, and it will make sure that you put the darks together and rotate them around as you create your block. And then it's simple seaming because this now is going to be joined as three blocks, one row, three blocks here, row two, three blocks here, row three. A simple nine patch construction. And you can see on the back, press as you go, making sure that things, um, keep things, things nice and neat and tidy will make your um, block turn out very nice. And then you're going to be creating 42 of those. So you can see six by seven, a 42 inch, our 42 block quilt behind me. There's no borders, no sashing. So simple binding finishes off which way now. Thanks for joining me. For more of our video tutorials, visit our website.